Yeah. And one thing God uses to mature his people is pain and suffering, man. So every Christian has a story. This is one of mine. Yeah, I pray you're blessed by it. Listen. Yo. It was October 05, sixth day of the month I remember it as if it was yesterday Just an ordinary day I'm at work just doing what I does Me and my homie Josh digging in the scriptures over lunch Then a co-worker comes running in the room Telling me I got a call That's when the drama starts I get to the phone and what I hear when I answer Hello? it My wife on the other end panicking Telling me she's at the hospital She's having complications And the doctor's telling her that the baby ain't gonna make it I grab my coat and Told my boss that I was breaking, hopping the whip, and I could barely drive cause I'm shaking. Now I'm racing down main, heart racing, blood racing through my veins, thoughts racing through my brain. I'm just racing in the brain, but my heart's pulled in so many ways. I honestly can't remember what I'm saying. I arrived at the hospital, and they take me to a room. Nurse tosses me some scrubs, like, here, put these on. Then she takes me to the room where my wife is, and I'm still trying to figure out what the world is going on. Then the doctor says his heartbeat is fading away. And though he's premature, she's gonna have this baby today no. And hearing those words hit my heart and left me shook Next thing you know, they telling wifey push Dad, everything's moving so fast Not prepared for this, never been to Lamar's class uh. A couple moments passed and my little man's born And just about as quick as he was here, he was gone But Dad. before he left, the doctor chose to let me hold him Told us for his final moments, we should try to let him know That he was loved and as I hold him I'm, I'm sitting feeling hopeless. hopeless Cause I know that there's nothing I can do to keep him from going Now uh. the tears start flowing then I look over at my wife who's got her hands on my shoulder to console me. She was like, everything will be all right. And the look inside her eyes got me focused cause I knew where he was going. So I had to hand him over and to trust him to the Lord. Yeah. The little man took his final breath in my arms. And I just sat there shook with no words to say. That's the way we lost little Trey. Dad. Uh, that's not the end of the story though There's much more to speak about And I don't want to leave it out more, They sent me back to the room Said they had some work to do on wifey And they would bring her back to me soon So I go back to the room Where my mother-in-law, moms and pops is And I sit watching the clock tick talking. Two hours later, in comes the doctor Saying we had some complications We almost lost her What? My heart stopped for a second she said we got it down to ICU So now I'm racing through the halls down to ICU Open the doors and I see my boot strapped to a bed with breathing tubes And she's starting to come too But she's having trouble breathing Face starting to turn blue And the nurses start scrambling By now I'm panicking I look up to the skies and scream Lord I can't handle this uh. But right at that moment yeah. It was like the Lord placed his hands on my shoulders yeah. And my heart honed in on how he was controlling the circumstances In the lives of Job and Joseph yes. uh, That's when I noticed that he holds it All in the palm of his hands like a closed yeah. fist And my pain turned to praise when I noticed Woo. That no matter the circumstances he, he still holds me down yeah. Now everything's peaceful Woo. Wifey's doing better now She's laying there sleeping But they want to keep her for the weekend To peep her pride Crest and Sunday morning, we finally leaving. We get home, and as soon as we step inside, my wife broke in the side. My heart broke as she cried. Cry for the next couple of months, I spend a whole lot of time asking God to provide peace of mind to my bride. Please. Now that the healing began, I was like, Thank God the hard part's over, right? Woo. Not quite. Uh, we found out that she was pregnant again, only to have it end in miscarriage. Uh, and I'll be telling you a lie if I said there weren't times I ain't asked the Lord why What's and I ain't grappled inside with the way that things were happening. Questioning, Lord, is it in your will for us to have a kid? Uh, but one thing about suffering is that it's given so that we can make much of Him. Cause at those times were when I felt the most close to Him. Cause when I needed comfort, then I couldn't get enough of Him. So we asked Him if He would bless us with a Son, but give us the heart to be content if he gives us none yeah. And almost two years to the day after losing little Dre In comes Isaiah, the answer to our prayers Yeah, uh October 5th, 2007 Isaiah came kicking and screaming Just a reminder to me and my wife that God was there with us the whole time Dad, it's so good, y'all it's real. Let's go.